This is an indication on the inside of a header wall. It appears to have some depth to it. My first call is to add a measurement and choose the depth measurement type. Depth measurement is used to establish a reference plane on the original material surface. Three cursors are placed on what appears to be the original surface, allowing the measurements above or below, or in case of a pit, below the plane. Notice that Automatic Depth Assist allows the system to automatically find the deepest part of this pit. In this case, it's 324,007 inch. Notice that I'm also getting a green surface mask, and this surface mask is indicating any material that is plus or minus within plus or minus 1% in height of this plane above or below that measurement plane. But this is only a part of the equation looking at the white light image and looking at the measurement data. With new technology, you can actually visualize this white light image side by side with the underlying 3D data. Notice as I rotate the point cloud that I'm able to see what's actually occurring in this image. And in this case, you'll see that I'm able to visualize the idea of the radius and that when I'm measuring, it's fully on the pipe floor and not up on the wall of the radius. Additionally, these surface contours can be viewed in a depth map that gives you a color depiction of what is going on in this pit. Anything closer to the camera, or in this case above the plane, is 82 thousandths. That's this material here on the ID. And anything further from the camera is in this darker red brownish area. And you can see in this case it has picked the deepest part of this pit. As I said earlier, no one technology this is one example of how new RBI tools can be used in corrosion detection and evaluation. As I said,